Hello, thank you for joining me. In this film, which is going to be video number seven in our, in our series in creating a simple basement in a Revit model, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting in the first floor. I'm going to show you two options that are going to be involved with that. For the first floor, what we could do is one option, I'll show you how to do that first, is we're going to put the floor right on top of the wall, uh, the basement wall, and have the, this, uh, your, yeah, and they have the, the first floor wall actually on top of that uh, first floor, the first floor floor. That makes sense. And the other option is have that wall hang. If you remember the pictures on our website where we did that remodel, we actually had the floor hang off of the off the stem wall of the crawl space and that, uh, that addition that was being put on. So there's two ways of doing it. My preference is the second, but let me show you how to do the first one first. So let's go to the first floor plan. And what we have is the first floor. We don't see the basement floor up here. We're going to do that for a second uh, example. And we're just going to put a floor in like we would do typically. So not the concrete slab that we just chose, but uh, wood joist, 10 inch. Probably not ceramic tile. Let's use a wood finish. And we'll draw our floors. We have the boundary line and, uh, and the pick walls option selected up here. We don't want an offset, so let's go ahead and set that back to zero on our options bar. And let's start picking. What we want to do is pick, perhaps, uh, the outside line. And this is actually the core face exterior line of our walls. And it's going to ultimately ask us, as we go around here clockwise, when we get all done with this, with the green check mark, it's going to ask us, would you like walls that go up to this floor as a level to attach to its bottom? And the answer is going to be yes. So what it's going to do is it's going to take that concrete wall from our basement and terminate it where the floor starts. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see if this is a desirable outcome. Let's uh, take our scale and go back to a one-to-one -one scale and see some of the components in regard to that. So what it's doing is it's put in, here's our basement wall, here's our first floor, and our first floor walls. So we have this extra element in here. We have this floor down here that we're going to need to cover in some way. And this is what parts does. That uh, section in uh, chapter number four in Revit, it allows you to take some of the parts from your components, like your wall over here, some of the components of that wall, and actually do additional elements too. We could take this sheathing and cover this a little bit, the end of our joist down here, and the siding, and cover that too, which would uh, hide uh, the structure, which is okay. And that's one way of doing it. But the other way of doing it is to take that floor and actually have it terminate on the end of our basement wall. So let's do that as an option. Let's go back to our first floor plan. Do control Z a couple times until our floor disappears. And this time, we'll exit out of our floor. And yes, we want to exit out of that. And this time, what we want to do before we get started is actually show the basement structure underneath that. So remember what we did with our basement plan? We showed the, the first floor walls or all the elements that might have been part of the first floor by going down to the underlay button and changing that. So what we want to do is we want to show what's in the basement and go to apply and now you can see the basement floor, the basement walls and the end of the floor which would represent the, the edge of our footing. So we'll cover that second wall here in just a moment in the next video.